surprised it fit. Good morning from Crescent Meadows. I am beginning my hike of the Thy Sierra Trail. I'm starting in Crescent Meadows, hiking over to Mount Whitney. It's 72.2 miles, and I expect it to take me seven nights. I'm very excited to go see some all new terrain. I have been looking forward to doing this trail for several years, and I just decided that this was the time, and solo was the way, so I'm gonna go do it. So I've been hiking about six and a half miles today. Uh, it's been pretty mellow. I'm a little bit low energy, probably partly because of the weather. I'm really grateful that there's cloud cover because it's quite warm even without it. It's been trying to rain for the last hour or so, and that's pretty nice. I found this nice granite camp at Merchant Creek, and I'm just hanging out having lunch here. I'm gonna try to make it to Bear Paw Meadow tonight and spend the night there, and then go up to Hamilton Lake tomorrow and have a nice short day at the beautiful lakes. Uh, a little bit of weather is expected, but probably not thunder and lightning, just a little bit of raindrops and I can handle that. pack is squeaky because it's at pretty much probably max weight capacity because I have 18 pounds of food in my bear can. So I keep making up songs to go with the squeak of my pack.
Good morning. I spent last night at Bear Paw with Sinja, a lovely young lady from Switzerland, and a couple of other nice gentlemen that were camped there as well. I woke up this morning to the sound of bees outside my tent, so I got everything that was just outside my tent, and pulled it inside the tent, put my shoes on, and then I jumped out of the tent and grabbed it and drug it away. So I think I set up really close to a bee's nest, a beehive, and uh, I was lucky I got away and got everything packed up out of the bees. So it was a really nice night and I saw another bear this morning. There's so many bears out here and it was really pretty dark one with lighter spots and everybody I've met on the trail so far has been really wonderful and they're all going to the all the way to Whitney too. So I expect it to take me seven days. So on Tuesday, I'll make it to Mount Whitney tonight. Today is just a short day. I'm gonna go four miles to Hamilton Lake but so far it's just been beautiful. Here's some nice view back there. So this is the modern bridge that's over this river crossing. I believe this is the Kuea River. I'm gonna check my map later. And then this is the one that they originally built down here. I'm really nervous about hanging my phone over this edge. See it down there? That is the original bridge. And it was taken out by the company.
Today's a nice mellow short day, just about five miles up to Hamilton Lake. I think I'm there. I just found a nice flat rock first and putting my feet up, relaxing, looking at this view. It's so nice to have a really short day where I can just go really slow and just take in all the sights. It's such a beautiful trail. This is really lovely. I'm, I have never entered the Sierra from the west side before, so it's been kind of a treat, totally different climate. There's a room with a view. <laughs> You're so weird. You're playing games. I'm fine. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Yeah, he's like, that's spring. Yeah, everyone's looking at him like, what's wrong with you, man? Just chill out. Come get some of the socks. It's all that youthful energy. <laughs> Dear Zoomies. Yeah, come, come enjoy some sock, man. Come get some of the sock, dude. Chill out. Good morning. I camped down below at Hamilton Lake last night. If you look down across the valley, you can see the trail. Even cut into the wall across the way, and more old rock in the background. It was a beautiful night's sleep. I got to camp around 11 o'clock yesterday, hung out and swam and just took it easy. Lightened my bear can some by eating some nice food. And today I'm climbing up above that waterfall to Precipice Lake and over down to Moraine Lake. Hopefully, that's the goal. It's been so pretty so far. This is a really nice trail.
Here's some remnants. I saw in a documentary before I came here made by the National Park Service that these cables were carried in by a string of people because they were too heavy for the horses back in the 30s when they were brought in. These are some old cement blocks. They must have had a small tramway that went across this canyon. You can see the other connecting cement blocks on the other side. This is really an impressive spot. I think I'm about to walk through the tunnel. canyon was so deep and abrupt they just blasted a hole right through the mountain for the trail and you walk through this tunnel pretty cool After many false summits, I believe this is Clay Gap. The Nine Lakes Basin.
took away a gap just about an hour ago and have been descending into this beautiful river valley. It is very desolate out here. I haven't seen another person since Precipice Lake. It's beautiful though. I'm gonna try to go six more miles to the Chukupa Plateau to take the rest of the evening there. I'm taking my time today and taking lots of videos. I lingered at Precipice Lake for a long time because I'd wanted to see it for so long. I'm really enjoying, really enjoying myself out here. It's kind of cool because this is the original John Muir Trail included the High Sierra Trail because you entered on the west and exited on the west. And so I did the JMT last year and this is kind of a, a completion of it in a way because it's part of the original trail. So it's pretty cool to, to get to add that. All this beautiful chunks of snowy white quartz. Beautiful.
is just what the doctor ordered. Hello from Kern Hot Springs. Yesterday I hiked a really long day. I went all the way from Hamilton Lake to Moraine Lake. It was about 13 miles. I didn't get into camp until the last light and I was too tired to make dinner. I just gave myself a foot rub and cleaned up and went to bed. Um, this morning I hiked down, down, down to the bottom of Kern Canyon and hiked up a couple miles to the Kern Hot Springs. I was planning to camp here tonight, but I feel pretty good and I, I'm thinking I'll just keep going. I don't know that I'll make it the next seven and a half miles to Junction Meadow, but hopefully there's a spot where the, the trail comes close to the river with water where I can spend the night there and then get a jump on tomorrow. Um, this is a much more quiet and desolate trail than the JMT. There's so few people out here that it's kind of lonely. I, I like solo hiking, but I also like encountering other humans and that's pretty sparse out here. I think yesterday in my 13 mile day, I saw three other people. So uh, I'm kind of lonely, ready to go home. These are pretty nice hot springs, gotta say. This is the lower tub that is got some river water in it so it's not quite so hot. This one is quite a bit hotter. Really nice though. My feet and legs are feeling no pain anymore. I could stay here all day. Been hiking up the Kern River for the last couple of hours since about noon and it's been about a three mile stretch of a devastated burn area and I can see just ahead of me the green of the trees that I'm going back into healthy forest and it's been so hot and exposed without the shade of the trees that you know I'm so excited to go back into the forest and you just really appreciate where there should be shade when it's not there and the California wildfires are just so devastating. Look at the size of this mushroom. It's huge. It's like a giant pancake.
Good morning. Yesterday I had planned to camp at Kern Hot Springs, but I got there so early in the day and was kind of bored and lonely, so I continued on. I made it to Junction Meadow and camped there for the night with a couple of nice people and then started out early this morning to the climb to the JMT. Because I went so far yesterday, I'm gonna finish a day early, but this is the Kern Canyon. It's been so gorgeous. I'm gonna head to Guitar Lake today and out tomorrow. So I have one more mile to go until I reach the JMT Junction. It's starting to climb really fast now and it gets overwhelming because the last little bit always seems like the hardest. But then I look backwards and see how far I've already climbed this morning. I was all the way in the bottom of the Kern Canyon and now I'm all the way up at the level of the Chikupa Plateau again and I just freaking powered through that. So if you ever start to feel like you're not making progress fast enough, don't forget to look back the way you came because you're doing better than you thought. Today has been a hot, long day. I started at Junction Meadow and I'm making my way to Crabtree so that I can head to Guitar. Uh, it's been, it was nice to join the John Muir Trail and be back in familiar territory with more friendly faces. I don't mind the desolation, but it's not my preferred um, environment. I actually really like trail community and chatting with people on the trail and the High Sierra Trail is really desolate and almost everybody's going the same direction so you don't pass very many people. Um, pretty excited to get to Guitar. I still have several miles to go today and then climb Whitney. I'm a little bit low energy because biology stuff is making me feel tired but I am gonna charge through this and mind over matter and I'm gonna make it out a day early.
you, Marmy. Here's my camp at Guitar Lake. Tomorrow I'll go up and summit. I may have overdone it a little bit today, trying to get out a day early. But, I mean, truth be told, I'm just not really having that much fun. It's really beautiful, but I've been thinking about going home since the day I stepped on trail, so I'm gonna just do that. morning from the Mount Whitney Trail. I left camp at 3.15, headed for the summit. Pretty beat today, moving slow. But it's my last day, I got this. Well, I just finished the High Sierra Trail and my fifth Whitney Summit. 
This was a hard one for me. I didn't feel very good. It started early, but didn't get here by sunrise. Now I'm going to try to make it down to the portal. I'm really low energy, so I'm just going to be careful, walk safe. I'm stoked that I finished that hike, but I'll probably never do it again. <laughs>